I'm in the Arbuckle Mountains in Oklahoma, a rugged landscape full of clear streams and high cliffs. I camped in the area the night before and had been planning on visiting Turner Falls, one of the state's most iconic outdoor attractions, but was told that the road leading to the falls was blocked off and that the falls were closed for the winter. With the road closed, I decided to find another way to the falls. And along the way, I came upon some other smaller falls. I had heard there were lots of caves in these mountains, and this hole looked promising. Unfortunately, it was shallow and didn't go anywhere. The canyon was beginning to narrow with steep cliffs on either side. I was going to get wet unless I could find a different route along the valley. I decided to climb up onto the cliff in hopes of finding a ledge that would allow further progress downstream. It didn't look very promising. But then I noticed something in the distance through the trees. It was the top of the falls, and beyond that I could see the tourist walkway at the bottom of the falls. But how to get there? I noticed a small opening in the cliff and decided to check it out. Now that I was at the top of the cliff, all I needed to do was find the falls again. And there it was, but it was a long way down. I spotted a pickup truck at the bottom, but didn't see anybody except for in the distance at the tourist overlook on the other side of the canyon. With a sheer cliff between myself and the bottom, I'd have to use my rope. I was going to have to move fast because I wasn't sure about the legality of rappelling down the side of one of Oklahoma's star attractions. I'd need to set up, get down, and then take off quickly to avoid the park police. Unfortunately, after throwing my rope down, I was unable to see if the ends made it to the bottom, which carried the risk of me coming off the end of the rope high above the ground. Here goes nothing. I decided to go for it anyway. There was a ledge halfway down where I would be able to see the ends of my rope. If it was too short, I would climb back up to the top, but that was a prospect I wasn't looking forward to. The falls were over 70 feet high, and I was still well above them. Now it was just a matter of making it to the ledge so I would know whether I'd be in trouble or not. I was beginning to have serious doubts. Finally, I made it to the ledge. Was I going to be stuck or not? I can see the rope at the very bottom, so I'll be able to make it all the way. Here I go. It just goes to show you that you don't need to be in a far off place like Alaska or Patagonia to have a great outdoor adventure. Oftentimes you'll find more than enough in your backyard if you just make the effort. The falls are beautiful, but I don't have time to waste. Gotta run.